Hi, this is Mike Fama DIY TV, and today we're gonna attempt to fix this. So we had a storm about a week ago, and it actually knocked out my pump, and it did something to this, and there's actually a buzz. If you listen real carefully. So I think something got inside there. We're gonna take this apart. And I'm gonna show you how to do that and show you how to put it back together. So the first step is to turn the unit off. My switch is inside in my basement. So I'm gonna run inside, turn the unit off. All right, so I'm gonna break in here. So I'm gonna show you something interesting. I have a radon meter in my basement. So about, like I said, about a week and a half ago, that started making a noise. So I turned it off and it's been off for a while. So you can see what it's usually, it's about a 0.7, it sits around here. But I saw this, the set five day average now has been up to five. Yesterday it said the five day average was 11. So 11 parts per, I forget what the measurement is, but it's whatever it is, it's 11, which is super high. Um, I think the safe, and don't, I'll, I'll throw up what the safe levels, what the recommended safe levels are up on there, but I think they're around three. So it was 11 the other day and I, cause I forgot I turned that off because I was busy working on the pool pump. So this thing does work. This radon reduction system does work. So I wanna make sure I get this thing up and running. So if you have the same thing, I'm gonna try to help you as well. So let's get through this. Let's do this together. Okay, so now we're outside and what we're gonna do is we got these bands. We're gonna take these bands off. I'm gonna use a nut driver. You can just use a regular um, a screwdriver, a flathead. It depends on how yours, but basically you need to get these bands off. So we're gonna do that now. Very gently and try to get this fan out. What I think is something fell in here. So you can see it's pretty dirty in there. And if you were gonna replace your replace your uh, your radon fan, you can see how simple it is. Basically all I do is look to see what model it is and do this exact same thing. And you would put the power in there. So this uh, video could also help you replace one of these pumps as well. Oh no, there it is. It's a bat. Yeah, there's a bat in here. What? Yeah. In the radon? Yeah. All right, to make this easier, I'm just gonna remove the, the whole, I'm just gonna remove the whole fan so I can get this somewhere else. So I cannot get this bat out of here. Uh, that's the bat. Oh, it stinks. I think that was it. I'm spinning it now. And it's quiet. No more bat, but it really smells bad. All right, so now we're just gonna reinstall it. So, like I said, you can use this video for how to swap out a, um, a fan as well. So you can see basically what you got, the model, just order the same model and put it back in. So now we're just gonna reinstall this. All right, now we got it wired up. Put the lid on. All right, now we're just gonna reverse the order of how we took it, took it apart. All right, so we're back up and running. Uh, so everything's turned back on and everything's working. So I did not expect to see a bat in there. That was beyond my expectation. But if you have a bat in your radon reduction system, fan, this should help you get it out. Uh, or if you have anything else, or you need to replace your fan, you should be able to watch, this video should have helped you. If it did, please like, please subscribe. Please leave me a comment down below. I'm Mike from Family DIY TV, and I'm out.